Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that if you are planning for uh, a Scrum product on an interview, so a very common question generally asked in an interview that what are the techniques used for product backlog uh, prioritization. So let's just start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Uh, friend, uh, there are mainly three uh, techniques used for product backlog prioritization, the priority matrix, the Moscow method and the Kano model. model. So one by one we shall discuss in detail the priority matrix. This particular uh, prioritization techniques also called the impact slash effort matrix helps the team rank the problem functionalities and other matters in backlog based on their importance in the project. It involves a matrix with two axes, the impact axis and the effort axis. Uh, due to this method, you can get to involve everyone engaged in the project to discuss the different product related tasks, requirements, features and problems. Plus, it's a pretty versatile method. You can do it while using a white board and a sticky notes. Next one is the Moscow method. The Moscow method also called the Moscow prioritization or Moscow analysis is another popular technique for classifying requirements. Here product managers organize the backlog items into four priority categories. First one is the must have essential features without them the solution does not exist then should have crucial features but not that time sensitive could have nice to have in a product as they would I definitely increase user satisfaction and wouldn't have irrelevant these features wouldn't bring any real value. Last one is the Kano model. In the more Kano model we have horizontal and vertical axis as well as two sets of parameter. Uh, basic features without those features is its target audience wouldn't even think about buying the product. You need them to be competitive. There are must have. Excitement features, these are the features, surprises that you put into the product. If you don't have them, a customer wouldn't even notice them. But if you continually invest in them, the user's satisfaction will boost. Next one is the performance features. The more you invest in these, the more satisfied users you will have as a sample as that. So uh, friend, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And thanks a lot for watching the video.